Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. So first we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the R cross C character matrix has the input which represents the vehicle parking and then V represents the vehicle that is the car park or the vehicle park and the dot represents the empty slot. So the program must print the count of vehicle part in that place and a vehicle can be represented by one or more V in that current row so also vehicle length may vary suppose we are going to accept the r cross c character matrix which represents the vehicle parking so here v is the vehicle park and dot is the empty slot so we have to print the count of vehicle park in that place and a vehicle can be represented by one or more v in that current row and the vehicle length may vary First, we'll take our test case. So here we have a 3 cross 5 matrix where the vehicle is being parked in each row. So first we consider this. These two belong to the same vehicle. So we'll mark this. So this is one vehicle and after that for this vehicle, we have an empty slot behind and after. So this is an another vehicle. So we'll mark this. And then the first row, we have two vehicles. And in the next row, we have three empty slots. And then we have a vehicle. And after that, we have an empty slot. So this is one vehicle. And in the third row, we have an empty slot. And we have a vehicle. So this four together represents one vehicle as it is continuous. So total vehicle is one, two, three and four. So four. So this four will be our output. So four is our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So here we have a three cross five matrix. So in the first row we have four V continuously. So this represent one vehicle because after that we have an empty slot. And then in the second row, we have three empty slot and one vehicle V and then again an empty slot. So this represents one vehicle and we have a dot and then we have four, four elements with V. So this is one vehicle. So totally one, two and three for each row. We have one vehicle. So the output will be three. Now the output is three. So after this, we'll know how to check our condition that is the vehicles is parked or not. So we have to check whether if the current character is equal to V and the next character must be equal to dot. So in that case, we have to increment the count. Otherwise, we have to don't have to increment the count. So here we can see the current character and the next character are equal. So we don't have to increment. So, but here we have current character as V and the next character as dot. So we will increment by one. 
and here also we have v and a dot so we'll increment by one and in the last row the current character and the and then next character is not dot but the last character is v so we'll increment by one so totally we have three vehicles part so the logic is if the current is equal to equal to v and the next is equal to equal to dot means we are going to increment the count and if the last character is equal to equal to v means then also we are going to increment the count by one now let us implement our program first we'll get the number of rows and columns as the input and then we'll have a variable called as vehicle count equal to zero so now we'll iterate over each row that is for CTR in range of 1 comma R plus 1 so here we'll get the input for each row that is slots equal to input of dot split off and after getting the inputs we are going to check our condition by iterating over each character that is for index in range 0 comma c minus 1 and for each character we are going to check whether the current character that is if the slots of index is equal to equal to v so if current character is v and the slots of index plus 1 is equal to equal to dot and the next character is dot means then we are going to increment the vehicle count by 1 and if you consider in this case the current character is v that is in this last element the current character is v but the next character is not dot so in such cases if the slots of minus one that is the last element is equal to equal to v and then also we are going to increment the vehicle count by one and finally we are going to print the vehicle count so now let us run our program with our first test case so we have got four as the output so one two three and four now we'll pass our another test case so here we have got 3 as the output, so 1, 2 and 3, which is correct. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.